Hi there, it's Mila Sanity 602 reporting to you with the final one of this season's 31 days of horror film reviews. And this one's going to be a little bit special since it's Halloween, it's Halloween Day, and it's the last one of this year's uh, October 2014. We're gonna. The main topic of this one is going to be of Halloween 3, which is Season of the Witch, which is 1982, R-rated, 98-minute um, horror science fiction film from Tommy Lee Wallace. But before we get into um, get into Halloween 3, I think this would be cool just to talk about the alternate cuts of the Halloween films. I understand I'm talking about the Halloween franchise a lot on this channel because it's a franchise that I carry near and dear to my heart. It's not my favorite horror franchise, but it's like my third favorite. I really love it. And first things first, um, you, on this disc, you have the extended cut, which, you know, basically... Um, is how a smarter um, way of you know doing the Halloween, explaining the Halloween shit because you, you know for Rob Zombie fans who you know want stuff explained to them you know how Rob Zombie's Halloween films just want stuff explained to them. You could watch the um, extended cut of Halloween, which is provided on this bonus disc. And it's a superior version. I, I I I like I like both cuts. Um, yeah, yeah. But whatever. On that disc, and there's there's some nice additional footage on there. Then you have the heavily altered. Um, which one? This one really carries a real distinct flavor to it, and that's the television cut of the original Halloween 2, which, if you're not a fan of the theatrical cut, which I am a fan of the theatrical cut, I really love the theatrical cut of Halloween 2, the original Halloween 2, but if you want to watch a goofy version that has a lot of funny shit, the television cut is where you could go, I, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool for that as some interesting stuff. And then you have the much beloved um, producer's cut of Halloween the Curse of Michael Myers, which is there, which that's really cool. It's a really cool, neat little version. Um, I used to hate it. I used to hate Halloween 6, but I have grown to uh, appreciate it and love it a little bit more. Then you have the um, theatrical versions of Rob Zombie's Halloween, which you know already heard my opinion because I'm pretty much more known to the, you know, unrated director's cut. But anyways, you have the theatrical cuts, which are superior they tone down on the stupidness that the director's cut has, but what director's cuts have, but yeah. So I recommend that, and I recommend that, and that's just my brief little talking, just, you know, about the extra cuts, you know, just to add something special and unique to the last one of this year's 31 Days of Horror Film Reviews. But the main topic on hand, and I thought... Why not talk about Halloween 3 Season of the Witch? Which, you know, it's not a very... It used to... This one used to really have a huge hate um, crowd to it. It used to have a great deal of people who hated on Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. I, unlike most horror fans... I, unlike most horror fans always have had a level of love and respect and a little bit of appreciation towards Halloween 3. Ever since I've seen it, ever since I've seen it, I always had a love and a repeat appreciation for it. I understand that this is a bit of a re... Um, I understand that this is a bit of a re-review, but whatever. I love the Halloween franchise and I think it would be pretty neat. 
to, you know, do a re-review because I'm going to talk about this franchise a lot because I love it. Anyways, Halloween 3, Season the Witch, you know, the main intentions of the filmmakers were to um, make anthology films. Make, um, you know, films that, you know, have basically no connection to Michael Myers or any of that at all. And, you know, just have Halloween-themed horror films, you know, stuff that's centered around Halloween. And due to uh, the poor reception of the fans at the time of Michael Myers, of the Michael Myers character in the Halloween franchise, this didn't go, the, the anthology angle that this provided, would have provided the franchise, you know, didn't go by. And I, in all honesty... Prefer, prefer the Michael Myers story. I prefer more Michael Myers films. And don't get me wrong, I do not hate this film because Michael Myers isn't in it. And I don't hate this film. I never really hated this film. A lot of, I, I, I would have, I prefer the Michael Myers um, storyline. In my opinion, these two films here, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, and Halloween Resurrection, the cast and crew behind those two films should seriously beat the motherfucking and motherfuckers cast and crew's ass, motherfuckers cast and crew ass of these two movies. Because these just spit a piss on the legacy of the Halloween franchise, and guess what? They're not very good films. And I just feel like, feel like, wow, Rob Zombie's Halloween has a sequel, but yet there's an open ending in Halloween Resurrection. Halloween Resurrection, an underrated film. Fuck the haters. Fuck the haters of Halloween Resurrection. Favorite Halloween film. I defend that film. But there, this could have been a possible angle. And I I wish that this, if if we would have, I prefer Michael Myers, but if if I wish that this, if if we could have, you know, got, avoided the Rob Zombie angle, Rob Zombie angle, I would have loved this way. But whatever. But you know, the the basic plot of Halloween Three: Season of the Witch is that there's this guy who's running away from these um, Men in Black, and the Men in Black um, are chasing him. And after they chase him, he's holding a mask, and then he gets killed. And then you know. We get a we get a big old um, controversy of this drunken um, drunken um, um, drunken um, doctor. This drunken doctor who is good to his kids. He he's nice to his kids. At least he's not abusive asshole like you know Ronnie White and Rob Zombie's Halloween or or. John Strode in Halloween, the Curse of Michael Myers. He's a, he's an all right dude. Um, anyways, you have him. They then he and the, the guy's daughter go over to Santa Mira, where they are trying to investigate what happened to her father. And what they realize is that there's this ancient cult leader, a warlock of sorts, a warlock of sorts, who is basically having a plan to kill every single child. On Halloween, by having this mask, this um, these masks, silver shamrock masks, you get a pumpkin, you get a skull, and you get a you get a witch or whatever, and you get to see little side by side things, and ultimately, and ultimately, after you get that. Um, you know, he breaks out, he's trying to stop it, you know, they, you know, get the, get a good little confrontation between him and Dan O'Hurley, he, and after you get that confrontation between him and Dan O'Hurley, he, um, you know, they go on off, him and the girl, the girl attacks him, then we get to the shit, the guy who brought up the girl's father in the beginning, and you get, a no, and a pretty ambiguous ending, and overall, I am a huge fan of Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. 
I think that the plot is a pretty good plot. I really, um, I really enjoy the narrative of this film. I think that's pretty good. I really enjoy it. You know, it has that really cheesy. It has that really cheesy um, 50s feel to it, you know, cheesy schlock 50s feel, feel to it, but but overall, it, you know, it has that feel, but it's, you know, done with a lot more, um, a lot more weight and a lot more darker than those other, than those other films. And you get some, you get some really good characters like the Buddy Cupper and um, his wife. They're pretty good. You get that girl who gets the thing in her face, like the laser, and pretty, pretty fucking brutal. And I'm not a big fan of kid, kid deaths. I'm, all in all honesty, I'm not a big fan of kids' death. That was the only thing that really bothered me in Halloween Three: Season of the Witch. But overall, I am a big fan of Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. I think that's a really, um, really entertaining little, entertaining little film. It would have been interesting to see the, um, how they would have done the anthology angle. It would have been cool, but then we wouldn't have, then we wouldn't have, what? Oh yeah, we wouldn't have the awesomeness of Halloween 4. We wouldn't have, you know, the... I've grown to love Halloween 5. I've grown to appreciate it. We wouldn't have, you know, the coolness of Halloween the Curse of Michael Myers, which I probably will do in defense video 4. We wouldn't have, you know, the cool, smart angle of Halloween H2O. And we wouldn't have, you know, the fun kick... Um, the fun kick-ass, um, a totally underrated thing of Halloween Resurrection, which I wish that a lot, a lot of horror film fans would give this a break, because it's, it's real, it means a lot more love, but the, on the high note, is that we wouldn't get these fucking awful films, that's the only thing of high note that we would have happened, but whatever, anyways, I love Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, I recommend it. I recommend it, and I understand, I understand that it wasn't the best time, but whatever. The Blu-ray presentation is pretty good. I think that, you know, it has some good audio, good audio, um, good audio, it sounds good, it sounds clean and crisp, the picture quality is good, you get a good amount of extras, and this is just from the box that I just, you know, in the orange Blu-ray case, whatever, and yeah, that's Halloween three season which and the, the which is which is my last horror film review for this year. So in a little bit I shall be recording my recap video, recapping this year's um, films, and I shall you shall see that soon. And like, comment, subscribe, and I shall be back. Bye guys.